People always say that televised poker should be played for the highest of stakes. People always say that televised poker should feature only the most skilled pros. People always say that televised poker should have a competent and knowledgeable host. Well, to those people, we say nay. Live from the Gardens Casino in Los Angeles, it's Poker Night Live Hollywood Home Game. Tonight, poker pro Maria Ho. Academy Award winner, John Landau. Academy Award winner, Grant Hesloff. Indie filmmaker, Joseph Kahn. Industry powerhouse attorney, John Moonbez. And your host, Joe Stapleton. Thank you, Tiffany Michelle. Hello, my babies, and welcome to Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game, industry moguls night. I am Joe Stapleton. I once directed traffic in the Coachella parking lot. I am just a lowly poker commentator with a really good agent. It's me, so now I get to be down on the felt, but I'm not that good because I'm still playing with my own money. Truth be told, I am super intimidated by all of these Hollywood hotshots, especially you, John Landau. You produced the movie that made my first girlfriend, Sheila Matarazzo, kiss me. My very first kiss. Solaris? <laughs> not quite that young. Tonight we have a great lineup featuring Grant Hesloff. The aforementioned John Landau. Hello, hello. Professional poker player Maria Ho. John Moonves. And the director of just about every music video ever, Joseph Kahn. Now, if you hear a, a voice in the sky, that is my boy, Jesse Abramowitz, in the commentary booth. Say hi, Jesse. I obviously can't hear a word he says. The game is, of course, No Limit Texas Hold'em. Everyone's bought in for $500, and the blinds are 5-5. Now, traditionally, this is the point where someone would say, shovel up and deal, but I didn't get onto your sports package on cable by not coming up with my own catchphrases, so dealer Alma. Let's mix up all the cards and pass them out to the players. <laughs> kind of flows right off the tongue. Good or, luck, everybody. Or, or, or shuffle up and deal. Shuffle up and deal, whatever. <laughs> she I'm got the idea. <laughs> she got the idea. I'm going to let the Academy Award winning screenwriter write my scripts from now on. Totally fine with me. <clears throat> Sometimes you, you don't have to be original to be good, I guess. All right, I'm in the big blind was to was start. That an insult? Well, I, oh, that's how we're starting oh, it out. I didn't mean for it to be. How am I yeah, doing man, so badly I'm to protect you there, already? Thanks, you know? John. How long will you sit there uh, when you're writing something and try to be like, oh, I have to come up with a clever way of saying this rather than the way I want to? Uh, I'll, days, actually. Yeah, yeah on yeah. one line? Yeah, one mm. line. And is your process to wait in that one spot forever or to go back to it? Go back. OK, that sounds more efficient. Oh. Maria opening the action with seven for All right, suited. so we got an opening raise from Maria Ho. Might as well kick the, things the, off. I was putting the pressure on us amateurs. Huh? I am in the best position <laughs> under the gun, so might as well. All right, I call. So we've got one, two, three, four. Four players in this hand. To the flop we go. Heslov right, First the action, I'm going to check. Do you guys know that uh, it was announced today that Maria was nominated for the Women's Poker Hall of Fame? Uh, Congratulations. Thank I you. did. Uh, I'm going to bet $50. Has a lot Against the woman that was here. just nominated to be in the Women's Poker Hall of Fame? What are you, crazy? I am. <laughs> Don't make it 75 until you heard that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry, folded. The professional folded out of turn, which is very wow. unprofessional. Wow. I'm technically a professional TV host, and I'm going to make a lot of mistakes Literally tonight. So stressed about the competition. I mean, I, have to, I also have to fold. All right, Grant. Congratulations. Go. You don't win the first one. You can't win all of them, Grant. Yeah, so I'm set. So the I'm first saying. pot goes to Grant Hasloff. Joe, how much go. of your bankroll are you playing with here? <laughs> uh, I'm playing with 100%. <laughs> no, I have one backup bullet. After that, I don't know if you guys anyone, if anyone wants to volunteer, if. 
I'll have to go to the ATM. We'll so stake you. We'll stake you. We'll have to take sure. you. <laughs> we're hosting the show. I'm sure we're going to get that back, though, if you John, lose. John right? and I have been in games before where people have come without enough money, and we, we've had to stake them. No names mentioned, but uh, they were television actresses. Television actresses? Wait, wait. you got to tell the, the, the funniest part of that story, John. So we used to play in this, this, this home game um, at my house, and uh, we would order dinner in, and everybody would contribute for whatever they you know, ordered for the meal. So this- uh, Wait, you guys are all successful Hollywood people and you're, you're like nickel and diamond each other, who had we're, what? We're just making it fair, so it's okay. not burdened by, by one, okay. one person who's hosting the game. hanging That's out. nice. Right. So this, um, this uh, actress comes to the game and only buys one buy-in for the game. And she thought that there was like more of like a tournament style and not a, and so John and I decided to, together to stake her. So uh, we did. And dinner comes, and we're collecting money. And I had paid for the dinner, and she pays me back with the chips <laughs> that I had given her to stake her. He's smart. Is so amazing. this is an awkward exactly. situation. So did you bring it up? Were you like, actually, you just paid me with your, my no, own money? No, but I've never worked with her. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. <laughs> that cost her a lot more than a ribeye. I can't believe you're not telling us who it is. Uh, I don't remember. You were most that is that can't possibly be true. <laughs> but but you know, but I'm not telling Grant, I, I I do remember where I met you from. Yes, because yes, it, yes. it was well before Grant's prolific career as a writer, Academy Awarding writer, producer, and director. He was Faisal in True Lies. So I met him as an actor, and then years later saw him in this whole other career <laughs> that I didn't even know that he was doing. But yeah, uh, I don't. Uh, sorry, I don't know. Like, what have you produced? Two uh, fives here. <laughs> Me? Yeah. J just uh, you know. Movies. It's on you. He's I gonna be humble now. Hold winner, on, right? You're Oscar winner, so. Yes, like, Argo. Argo. Was okay, great. Okay. Best Picture winner. Um, Argo, play your uh, hand, Joe. That was one of the great acceptance speeches of all times, by the way. It was a fun night. Good night and good I luck. I recommend it yeah. to anybody. <laughs> so right. When, when we were lucky enough to win um, for Titanic, I took the opportunity to name 53 people to thank them because I thought winning the award was more than the recognition of any two people up on the stage. I right. get a call the next year from the Academy. <laughs> they, they do a lunch every year with nominees and they, they talk to the nominees and they say, we're gonna show a good speech and then what we want you to do. And they asked if they could show my speech and started out by saying, that was a, a perfect speech, 45. 45. And then they said, See then that. we're gonna continue playing it and go, that was not such a good speech. <laughs> and just go on that way, so. That was middle pair. I, I'm just, how did you Bolts. survive Titanic? Like, yeah, that, does you wasn't actually on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, that's, that's like probably one of the hardest movies ever to produce. <laughs> you know, um, it was really interesting. You know, as we were going through the movie, everybody was writing all these articles about how Titanic, right. Time a lot of, lot of good water puns. Time yeah, Magazine wrote, it, a, to, to punch wrote a thing called, their headline was gulp, gulp, gulp. Variety started running, Titanic Watch, talking about how, but none of them had ever read the script. None of them had visited the set. None of them had seen a foot of, footage of dailies. And you know, that really, you know, the people who did, the people we invited down, they waited to write their stories because they saw what we were doing was pretty extraordinary. No one could have, you know, predicted, you know, what it would Sorry, become. It like 25. We were hoping Seven, it would be like a dance of wolves. You know, a long movie, successful. Epic. You know, right. And I viewed it from a producerial standpoint as one of the last times you were making a traditional old fashioned epic where you weren't relying Korea, on just on visual effects. Call. And we built the ship. We built 800 As feet well of the ship. And, you know, I tell people we built a city in you Rosarita. Built a, you built a tank. We built a, a 17 million gallon tank of water. Three ways um, here to the flop. You know, brought, brought in telephone lines from seven miles away. So it, it was, it was, it, all the fun though was after the release. Right. Making the movie wasn't a lot of fun. But uh, okay, so on giant? Titanic, 35. they had that whole thing Seven, about the lunch clubs? with people facing so, out. So that happened up in Halifax. And so wait, wait, wait. So what is this story? So up in Halifax, um, which was one of our last nights, which we did all the contemporary filming with Old Rose and the, and the ship, the Keldish, um, we had a catered Checks meal. At the end of the catered meal, who um, bets? people started not feeling well. Not sure what she has. And <laughs> when I say people, I'm talking about 90% like an like an airplane situation. But we need someone worse. that didn't have and, the fish and, and, and people trying to figure out what it was people would literally go into convulsions Thank you. 
and, and wow. we took people to the hospital. We took 53 people to the hospital, and not knowing not what, knowing what it was. And people are in the hospital doing like a Wait, conga line. these, 100? Going down, and I'm, I feel like I'm in, you know, uh, seven monkeys, you know? <laughs> it's it's just surreal. A race. I hadn't eaten, so I wasn't affected. We later found out, we thought it was toxic shell food because it was a seafood that night. Someone had spiked the seafood with PCP. Oh, I remember oh, this. Oh, my Did goodness. Did you know who it was? Did you ever no. find out? No. The, the police never found wow. out. We had suspicions. I meant to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I was pissed at Jim for not being That's right. We knew you from true time. lies. And we didn't, so. That is. So we got a massive bet here on the turn. This is 200 from Grant over the top of what was it, 75 from John? Well, you know, that's because John told him, you know, that when he did some comments pre show that he might have, like, said some not flattering things. So Grant's just putting the pressure back on him. Take it out on the table. So both Moonves and Heslov with trip sevens. I just know that no matter what, when I'm in Grant's situation and John is thinking about it with this face, I'm pretty happy. No, I, I, I've seen John think this long, oh. and he's got the, the dead, I've seen John the dead think. nuts. <laughs> He'll think and think and think. Think. Well, it's a lot of billable hours, right? The longer he, sp he spends in the tank here. <laughs> I'm all in. Wow, okay, our first all-in of the night. What is this, hand three, four? There's the all-in. Yeah. Slav is going to have to call here, of course. Getting be the last hand of the segment. Better than four to one. Might be the last hand of the night if he thinks <laughs> long, you know. You're all in, huh? This is poker. Now we're playing poker. Before we were just casually chatting and I got I got a call. I mean, all right. Grant says I got a call. Does that mean actually call? Yes. There it is. Okay. Let's see him, guys. There's yeah, a seven. It does make the uh -oh. call. That's not good. A seven and a five. And oh, seven oh, oh. That they are, in fact, chopping. This I is going to be anticlimactic. Unlike Titanic, which, even though we knew the ending, was still pretty good. <laughs> you know who the big loser in the hand is, don't you? Don't say the audience. It's the pro. <laughs> it's true. We're going to chop up this pot. That was not the hand I put you on. What'd you put me on? <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was hoping. It's a tough spot uh, to be holding pair. three sevens and get raised again there. I got the extra chip. Nice. We do have to take a break for right now, guys. When we get back, we're going to find out more about Joseph Kahn's new movie about battle rapping. But for now, I'm very hungry for some of mom's spaghetti. So am I. <laughs> Poker Night Live is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. My poker history started when I was a kid at home where, as a family, we would play poker. At that point, it was five card draw, if I remember correctly. And then when I started working in the film business, uh, very young, uh, there used to be this game that was going on at Woody Allen's production office. Ultimately, that game became a game that was hosted at my house and uh, played it there really right around the, the startup of uh, the internet craze. And it was just something that I found really enjoying. It was uh, my escape from the chaotic world of the, the film industry. Welcome back to Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game, movie mogul entertainment superstar edition that we just heard from academy award winner john landau over here we have a grammy winner at the table joseph khan has won for several of his music videos now joseph khan's won grammys directing music videos and all this stuff he makes a fortune doing it and then he spends all of his money on his indie projects his last one just won the palm springs international film festival and the afi fest audience award it's called bodied check out the clip it's a street fight. Words are weapons. We battle rappers. We battle each other and disrespect each other in the ring as rappers. If you go off, you a legend for life. Space to say obscenely racist things under the guise of competition. You know how sensitive the climate is towards racism and appropriation. The administration is now under a lot of pressure to act. You know, something that I'll never understand about this rap stuff is um, to shoot this, shoot that. I've 
Got so many questions. Uh, and that's the only thing that was legally allowed to show because really? the movie is so offensive. Like, <laughs> really? It's just the, like clips of nothing. <laughs> yeah, I have so many questions. Uh, okay. One is, uh, go ahead, we'll start the game back up yeah. here. One is, put up the big blind, buddy. Why battle rapping? Where can we see it? I guess it's just two questions. Just two questions. I guess there's only two. Uh, I'll have some follow-ups probably. Well, I wanted to do something about battle. It's not really, it's a battle rap movie, but it's more about, um, on a weird level, it's a, it's a secret way of talking about free speech because we're like so uh, afraid to say anything to offend anyone and in battle rap you can say anything you want so I thought that would be like an interesting movie to talk about free speech. I feel Hangout like a movie calls is one of the two places, like suited. once it's on screen you, get, you have a little bit more Real leeway but you, Joseph Kahn, sitting here at this table, you don't have as much Did leeway. you see my uh, cards do not. to make that raise? Yeah, and I like to punish the limpers so it's twofold. I know what you have and you limped. <laughs> and if I were you, I would have already folded pre, so oh, I feel limper. like max value here. And where, where, so where can we see Bodied? Uh, YouTube Red is going to release it streaming later on in the Landout year. Does make Before the that, call. we'll have a theatrical uh, release, which we're still working out. And I saw Eminem's Jack a producer four. on it. Yes. Landau takes the lead, yes, pairing his eight, song on it. backdoor hearts, so, and backdoor So, you know, drums. when you think battle rapping, you think of, obviously, that scene from 8 Mile. I saw the full trailer once. There's like a pretty decent homage to that scene, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of it. It's like, uh, it's our action scenes or the uh, the battle rap scenes. It's uh, you, I saw detention. Action card on the turn here. Movie. Flush draw now for Landau, Her top pair for Ho. Is unlike any other filmmaker I've seen, is bodied in that same style. It's frenetic, is that a kind, is that a decent enough word to call it? Uh, I mean, people say it's got a lot of energy, but yeah. I think it's a different visual style. It's a bit top two now for more, um, 75. But it sounds like Landau uh, is going for the bet. Time traveling, turning his pair into a bluff. Tapping, so okay, so this one finds a little bit did get there, more linear of a story. It's a little handy. Yeah. Okay. All right, we've got John and Maria have gone to a river. I mean, you know, there's not a lot Probably of Probably should raise, but I'm probably just gonna call because you could have 10-9, but you could also have Queen-Jack, but then I block Queen-Jack, so I'm just gonna call. I have Ace-Queen. That's a good just call for Maria, and she explains it perfectly. There's a busted flush draw on a pair of eights. Maria, professional poker player, working it. Maria, did you want to play a game really quick? Sure. I wanted to see if you could guess. You guys can play along if you want. Joseph Kahn has directed so many music videos. Okay. And right now I'm gonna rattle off four music videos and I want Maria to try to guess. You guys can all help her out if you want. So up for anybody. Which one he did not direct of these? Are you ready? Yeah. Aaliyah, if your girl only knew. Willie Nelson's Afraid. Rob Zombie's Living Dead Girl. Brandy and Monica, The Boy Is Mine. Wow. The, o the only input I would say is since Rob Zombie is a director, he may have wanted to direct his oh, own. Maybe. So maybe. I, that's the only input I'm putting in there. I don't even know who the last people were, but I'm going to say them. <laughs> you don't know The Boy Is Mine? I can't sing it because I can't afford it's it. It's a but classic. It is a classic. I'm going to say that one. All right. Grant's going to go with that one. I mean, they're all like from different genres, like different, I guess, I don't know. Definitely. It would hard, it's hard both to, Aaliyah it, and Brandy it's and hard, Monica. It's hard insane. to believe that the same guy I know, could have directed even saying. three of these, right? Meanwhile, Joe I mean, opens Ace Deuce under the gun. I like what John said about it being Rob Zombie, but I'm going to go with Willie Nelson. She's gonna, we've got the bases covered. Uh, trying to I already know what the answer is. Did you want to make a guess? No. He does not? You want to tell him? Uh, Moonves here has Ace Jack suited three bets. Of all of them. Whoa. All four of those he directed. I know it's not Hi. that clever to do a trick question, but I'm trying to big the guy up over. It's very impressive. This is a re-raise, so I know I can't really ask this in the middle of the hand, but I don't know how your friend John Moonves plays. Third time. You, are you acting like you would put money into the pot right now, Grant? If this was you playing? Yep, right, there's 10 this in there. This is my third time being, uh, be, being blind. I'm just saying that's what I'm saying. No, we're in the middle of the hand. I have, to, I have to fold. not a new deal. It, it, I was asking you for advice on how to play against your friend, but. Joe does make the Guys, fold. Oh, anytime he bets 35, because... it's a bluff. How much did he bet? What was that? Was that about a 35? <laughs> Well, and also, how can you no, not call kidding, 35 when you made it 15, though? Like, because how, I, have a, I have a how hand. Bad is that I, hand? I really don't want this show to be about this, but I had a hand <laughs> that had really bad reverse implied odds. What was the hand? I had ace deuce. That's a raising hand. So it's a raise fold hand, though, because there's a lot of other bigger aces out there, and I really don't want to get into trouble. 
What Joe's saying is that, that he immediately regretted raising that hand. percent of your bankroll. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, actions to start with Maria here. Reverse implied odds. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> I, I read that in a book once. It wasn't a poker book, but it was in a book. Meanwhile, Maria with ace four, ace 15. Tom, four do suited, will call. I think I know what Handy's talking about. Okay, all right, I'll, pl I'll play along on this one. 10, seven suited. Joe caps the action here. Three to the flop, 50 in the middle. That's because he has position. He gets to act first. So that's how he... I don't hate my hand, but I check. Joe's got two well, ways to make a straight and backdoor spades. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> that's the reverse implied odds. You hate odds. your hand a little <laughs> bit more now, though? Double reverse implied odds, and yes. <laughs> I check. Ace rolls off on the turn. Maria now top pair. I'm going to bet Lacan 30. does turn club draw here. Should get two calls. Around Joseph. Uh, We're going to be looking at about. Calls. That's right. So, some of that are. One that ain't forty afraid. in the middle going to the river. Joe folded. Never mind. Catch that. Joe Scratch that. The river. It's another jack. Good check by Maria there. Now after Joseph makes that face, I'm not sure he can bluff at this. And I think Maria will have to just shrug and call this off pretty quickly, I'd imagine. I'm gonna call and hope we chop. No, we're not chopping. Uh, that is a complete air ball. That is <laughs> nearly the nut low. Wow. You're dominating cool. the table there. Can you at least make it up to him by streaming some Taylor Swift videos for the next 24 hours or so? Sure. I love Taylor Swift. Actually, I have a question about directing music videos. Yeah. When someone says you direct it, does that mean you conceptualize it, you write it, or does someone come to you with the idea and you just say, here's how we're going to do it? It's generally a, somewhere in between all of that, you know? It's like, a, it's like advertising. So someone has an idea, you flush it out. I mean, it's literally like... Um, any other piece of directing. What was the first music video you did? Uh, it was... And were you 11? Because you, your career has <laughs> spanned so long. Yeah, I've been doing it for like 30 years. He so. was 11. <laughs> and he's also Asian, so he looks way younger than he probably actually is. The internet has him, has him listed as 45 years old, so 15 years old. You directed your first? I, I started uh, when I was, well, uh, giving away my age if I told you. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Uh, no, I, my first video was, uh, I mean, it was nothing. I would say like it was like for $40 for like a, a rapper. But I really started off, I mean, I, I did like so many like little tiny videos, but I started my own company back in. His law five X's it with and, two uh, nines here. That's I know it's on me, you degenerates, but the thing is I have to uh, take us to a commercial break. I want to hear more from Joseph and I want to hear about Argo when we get back too. Yeah. Since we do have to go to commercial, Argo, fix yourself a snack. We'll be right back. Well, Pokerdot Live back. is brought to you by Sit and Go 2.0. Go to Sit and Go 2.0.net. I knew it was. Two people telling me Sit two different and Go things. 2.0 Strategy ebook. Uh, I don't know a single person at the table tonight except Joe Stapleton. In fact, I don't even know how I know Joe Stapleton. He, like, I just ran into him and he said that he knew me, and I, for the life of me, can't figure out when I've met him or where I've met him or who this guy is. And he asked me to be in this game, and I'm pretending like I know him. And it's like one of those Hollywood things where, you're like, yeah, great, great to see you, but I literally don't know Joe, but he thinks he knows me. So it, right now it's very awkward and weird, but, um, but I'm going with it. Welcome back, my babies, to Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game. We're coming to you live, it's right in the title, from the Gardens Casino here in Los Angeles, playing 5-5, no limit hold'em. Jesse Abramowitz is the voice in the sky. We can't hear a word he says. Now, Maria Ho may have never uh, directed or produced a movie, but she has seen nearly seven of them in her lifetime. One of them was Argo. Yeah. And I understand you liked it. Yeah, it was great. For a long time, I was doing the Argo, blank yourself, just, you know, that was the most memorable line for me, but 
and I love Canadians. I already loved Canadians, but after like, you know, watching the you know, movie Canadians and realizing are, they're good people. I mean, yeah, they've done I didn't a lot. Know you were for, Canadian. For the I'm not. <laughs> That's why they're good people. <laughs> Turns out I had one of those anticlimactic hands we were talking about that we shouldn't have waited for. Oh God, guys, see, we waited. No, no, that was a really good call. <laughs> that was a really good call. Back. Well, I guess we could have all moved all in. That would have been a, that would have been a cliffhanger then. That would have been great. For me, it's been great. So, so as far as catchphrases like Nines Argo, do get through for Heslov. Like that, I'm the king of the world. Uh, does it ever get old? Well, you know, uh, Kate Winslet, you know, once said that it always got old for her whenever she went into a restaurant that had a live piano. They would start playing "My Heart Will Go On." I <laughs> would get and old. She said, 20 years later, it got old." <laughs> yeah. No, it's cool. And really, this is the only place I ever hear it. Is it in a casino? At this particular. <laughs> Here at the gardens. A call. His love will just call with Ace Jack. Just limping, huh? All right. Remember 15. what happened when John just Joe's called? Joe's pumping it Listen, up with two that's aces. That's what I want. Wait, so when you guys play the home game, it's at your house? Right. No, years ago, it was a game at my house. And uh, it didn't start there, but it evolved there. And one of the more interesting things about that game, John played in it, was how we kept track of the buy to the flop. We didn't have this sophisticated, like, sheet of paper that right. people would write down on. Ace. We would give Nine, tray. credit cards or ID, and they would be $300 markers. So people would be going into their wallet, and at the end of the night, they'd look and go, okay, I got five of your cards, you owe $1,500. I got <laughs> And there were some nights where people just went in, you know, too much, and they're pulling out business cards, and they're pulling out, you know, no all the restaurant yeah, exact cards. I would have showed up with stuff. a fat stack of John Landau business cards. And had, like, <laughs> what do you guys want? <laughs> Dinner's on me. I've only played He's with gonna one float. you, yeah. and I don't remember how you played. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, the stakes were a little different, so we probably played differently there. And the case uh, you know, ace on the turn. So John, you know, uh, I think Three about diamonds one person in this room is played in Molly's game. Thank you for doing my job for me while I'm involved in this hand. No, I'm not being sarcastic at all. I want to hear no, about no, this no, for sure. My, my favorite Grant's story, gonna lead though, for like 100? Like 100, 100 is, repping that flush draw. When the book came out, John was like, I, I hope I'm not in the book. I hope I'm not in the book. I hope I'm not in the book. He read the book. He's not in the book. He goes, I'm disappointed I'm not in the book. Wherever we go. It's true. This is true. Board pairs. Joe has aces full. Grant bet 100 on the turn. I got a little sick to my stomach, but I called. Check. 200. Snap bet for Joe. Choo choo. After hitting that ace on the turn, right. it's impossible to imagine how Hezlov can find it. <laughs> if a I lose this hand, it's going to be good, good night and good luck. I'll call you. I have got a full house. Oh, is that oh, good? Bad boys. I have a straight flush. Whoa, unbelievable. I still got a little scared. I had her like recheck the board and be like, what's it? No, he can't do it. Pretend to not be. See, I'm, this is why I don't really like playing poker that much. I have, I've, I'm upset that I won. Like I didn't want to lose, but I feel bad. I'm like, why? I idolize this guy. Don't be upset. Then you should feel good. No, I, why? You should, you should why should I feel good. great about I'll tell you, these guys wouldn't feel bad. Nope, <laughs> not in the least. They say don't meet your heroes, but they don't say don't beat your He's heroes. You've got Argo money, you have nothing to fear. <laughs> So Joe Everybody's got the something biggest pot of his life. Yes, except for me. <laughs> Has the show in syndication yet? All right. Speaking of syndication, didn't you do all the uh, the deals for Ray Romano? I, I've uh, had the honor to be Ray's lawyer for a lot of years, as well as his friend. Um, so that included. But lawyer some first. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I will say the the really great thing is. When I got to meet Ray, he is just a down-to-earth, genuine person. And, uh, you know, you, you know, those are the type of people you want to be in business with. Like, you know, John was saying before, you want to play poker with people that you like, you want to be in business with people you like. Yeah. So, well, Ray, I've heard that when, uh, uh, no, no, no. when John and Ray go to Vegas together and Ray gets comp to suite and John gets a regular room, they switch. You look a little, that must be true, the way you reacted to that story. Ace nine for Joe here. On One of the proudest off. moments of my life was I was covering the World Series of Poker. I, you know, before I was doing this, I was just like a tournament reporter, a guy on the floor, and I was standing behind Ray's table at the World Series, and I made some offhanded comment, and he laughed. And I was like, Ray Romano just laughed at one of my jokes. That was the year that you went pretty and deep, I think. Immediately, 
Maria Ho puts in a three bet to 50 with. Only so I can tell the story, I'm gonna fold. We don't quite know yet. <laughs> Occasionally the RFID yeah. cards um, will yeah, no, get I stuck had, for just a uh, moment. A good run so if I ever say anything wrong, just know run. it's that. I and am it was, quite confident. They were telling the, the, the build up on the. We do not know what Maria has, sort of but big whatever it is, here, it was enough to get Joe to full ace nine. As opposed to somebody like me that people don't really care about. Um, and they were comparing. We about, I care about you. They were comparing the You're Hollywood the people to the pros <laughs> in the in the main event, and keeping track and who's going to do the best. And a lot of the Hollywood people were falling by the wayside. And a couple of my clients, uh, including Sam Simon, uh, told them, "Stop following me. Look at my lawyer stack." And at the time, I actually was one of the chip leaders, and had quite a stack. And that was one of the thrills of my lifetime was uh, that run in that tournament. And John got the benefit of some of that because uh, John Landau and let him gun yeah, so, so, so in this home game we had talked about, we we sort of Stapes pulled a little money spades. from every like buy-in, get, get a little pot for the World Series, and then uh, we hosted at my John. house a World Series, you know, tournament, and the, the winner would go to the World Series, and everybody in the game would look at a little bit of piece of him. Yeah. So it was that year that that John went, and we had a little piece of John, and small so we all got six. very excited and, and followed it, and. Uh, he did great, and we were five. proud of him. So it was fun. See over the railing. With my money this hand, I won't be proud. Of <laughs> so four ways to the flop. Five, eight, four. Top two pair for Joe. Two overs and a flush draw for Landau. Hold on, Joseph's up first here. Oh, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't see him there. <laughs> Got to rethink things now, though. <laughs> Forty. I call. Ooh. Joe just with the call of forty. One forty-five in the middle. Joseph, do you play the World Series events ever? Played it uh, one year. Cool. Definitely focusing on this hand. I'll save the sixty minutes interview for later. Where's the no, time? No, do it now. Do it now. <laughs> how is it that you became friends with Daniel? Because that's how I met you. It was uh, we were. I did a bunch of video uh, commercials for Poker Stars. Okay. Allowed to say that here? <laughs> no. I mean, they pay my Turn other paycheck, so. Nine, pairing Landau. Still a two to one dog in this hand, but he, is, uh, he can never fold here after putting any more chips in. Yes, he sure is. Oh, I got a call again. Okay. Joe's right. He the does have to call. That makes me nervous. So no yeah, should reason. make me nervous. He's been in your movies, right? Like he had a cameo in Detention? He's in Bodied. Is he really? He plays poker in Bodied. <laughs> John, you could at least bet 150 on the next street because that's his profit and he would be happily paying that off. That flop straight. Mm. There's Not the doing seven so well of diamonds. <laughs> Flush. Okay, how much am I supposed to bet? For Landau. I would go like 160. So that's up from the 150. Yeah, she's, well, she hadn't seen the river I card mean, yet. And I'm juicing the, like, I mean, with what's in the pot, you should probably bet more, but I'm saying I think he would feel comfortable. She's giving you the minimum amount that I will fold for. Right. I, I think, I <laughs> think he's a little bit cheaper than that. Okay. Landau can bet all three okay. streets like here. I think anywhere in that range. I think it's too call. fair. I think probably this is not good. easily the worst river card imaginable for me, <laughs> which I'm happy about because I think I might have been beat from the beginning. So if you're bluffing, it's cool with me. I'm going to show my hand. I have to fold this. Yeah, it's a bad run out. Very, very bad turn and river for me. And he lost the minimum there, Joey. Really. Huh? Called the show flop, called the turn, like, folded correctly on like the river. Black paint. Just, all right, fine. That's okay, you definitely need more money. <laughs> no info. None. So, uh, <laughs> and how often do you show your cards? Pretty much never. Oh! <laughs> we, we, we gotta show some commercials, though. In honor of John Lando, I want to do this throw to break from the mast of a ship while I yell I'm the king of the world, but apparently, one, is too expensive, and two, it's also very, very lame. Isn't that right, Tiffany? Yes, Joe, very, very <laughs> lame. Poker Night Live is brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal and Sit and Go 2.0. Don't forget, later this week, we have more celebrity poker action for you live online at gardenspokernight.com or watch at twitch.tv slash pokernighttv. We'll be right back. is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimo Sabi. 
Sandow's a very good poker player. Um, you know, if you look at him, you wouldn't think so. Um, but uh, when you play with him, uh, you realize he's, uh, he's, he's, he's playing above the rim. Welcome back to Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game, entertainment industry moguls night. We are still playing 5-5, five, five, no limit Texas Hold'em. These are stakes so small, they couldn't even kill a tiny vampire. And speaking of bloodsuckers, John Movements, how are you with lawyer jokes? Did I just end what little scare I had? Up bump. <laughs> we better put up the blinds so we can start playing. Yeah, let's go. Let's keep, let's get the game going here again. No more of my jokes for now. We're gonna let things go. No, no, uh, no. Jokes are funny. Right. Oh, there we go. I didn't even get it as an insult at first, and then it clicked. <laughs> it, it was, was like, funny. like it a was little funny. insult it was grenade. Funny. So I want to hear about Maria's. Ex extravagant trip around the world on the amazing <laughs> race. So yeah. what year was that, Maria? That was in, uh, geez, I think 2009, season 15 of the race. And who was your partner? Tiffany Michelle. Who Very was... cool. Oh, we know her. And for the rest of us in the poker world, that was like a really, I mean, I'm sure it was for you too, it was a really big deal that we were like, poker people are on TV, <laughs> regular TV, like in a number that's lower than 10. It's crazy. <laughs> Maria, I mean, while they stray, uh, which is two, Robert 15 moon bets, right behind her with Queen so Nine, Queen Jack did. suited for Khan, yeah. and two we aces went. for Landau. And you guys were the, the first to Welcome go back. Right? Because Robert, Robert was after you, wasn't he? No, Jean Robert was before okay. us, and Annie Duke was on Celebrity Apprentice also before, before us. Also before so I wasn't even close. No, I, but, I consider a $15 bet a limp. Oh, wow, okay. And you want it, and you have some money to get back, so. But I'm not, not, not this hand, no. So we'll there is the three bet from the aces, 60. Did you win no, money? Is the okay. price. Nice bet. Six. And some yeah, quick discipline actually, folds from queen the, nine suited and queen jack suited. Past the bubble, because seven got no money. I think we got like 5K to split mm, between the two. Right. Too many people. After taxes, it was uh, <laughs> 1,100. I wasn't right going to quit my day job. Traveling well, normally is such a stressful thing. And then traveling under the race circumstances and yeah. the TV. How long was the it's was just, your race? Like our, how long did it take? So our actual race we lasted, I think, like um, fourteen or fifteen out of the twenty days. Wow. That and let me ask you this was. question: <clears throat> Was it amazing? <laughs> <laughs> the title definitely fits the experience. I mean, it. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, can mean a lot of things. Though. Well, that's true. <laughs> It's single-handedly like the best experience of my life, but oh, that's cool. But the, wow, <laughs> but not Great. like fun. Everyone until does. this show. <laughs> True. I'm sure you're like hearing that. As love, <laughs> seven suited will bump it up to what uh, looks like 15. <laughs> Land out another premium hand. Ace There's like 11 suited. people in the audience right now who are like, hey. From the small, three bets. Everybody's like, did you have fun? And I'm like, no, fun's not the word I would describe. 45. I, I would use to describe it. It's more just like. Scary and terrifying, but also 45. like a great that is 45. 45. You know what? Because we're on TV, I'm going to call you. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Did you ever, uh, did you and Tiffany ever get into it? Were there any? Yeah. <laughs> it's in high pressure it's situations, it's hard not I, to. I can yeah. imagine. I can't imagine not having that. I won't even do an escape room with my friends, let alone <laughs> go on a Do they ask you to, like, uh, Queen play 10 for top no, pair for Heslov. Not at all. all natural. I felt that shot like to Broadway for Landau. On, check. In, like, the does actually thing. check. Yeah, we weren't handy. at all by have. production in any way. Ah. Um, I felt like it was completely real. I'll check. And that's on a sister network to this network. Checks through to yeah. the turn. Heard of it. <laughs> produces the 10 of diamonds. So would you do it again? Yes. Just because I want to, I'm so competitive, I want the opportunity to do better than I always think like poker players uh, play those uh, reality survival shows. It's always interesting because they use different tactics. Yeah. We actually didn't tell people that we were poker players. And I'll bet 60. Which they later found out because we got recognized. Slob looks like he's got calling chips. Any kind of game theory. And that they are. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think in Survivor, it helps a little bit more to be a poker player and to have that kind of mindset and that like apologize. type of thinking. 215 in the middle, to the river we go. Like we had an edge because of it. Another 10. Heslov never folding now. Liked. I think if we got to the finals, it would have. 
Actually, I kind of felt like the only thing that production did rig was maybe they wanted us to win because in the finals, I think it's pretty obvious that Landau has his high. So I'd like to see a small value bet from Hezlop. And you had to make it equal a million dollars. You have the okay. 10, you have it. And cool. I was like, oh, cool. we better breeze through that whoa. one, wouldn't we? By the way, Grant has added on for 300 during the break. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's got a full house. Tens full of queens. His bet of 200 called on the end by John. Are we, we're not gonna lose you, are we? No. Okay. Grant won back some of that money he lost to me. Oh, rub it in. So it looks well, like Landau I mean, called there, assuming can, that Hesloff could very easily right have Jack nine or King that Jack. <laughs> this is great. I can ruin every or relationship. Nine of hearts, something we'll of that nature. Here on the show. Wonderful. Since, uh, what is the most anyone has ever lost in your home game? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Some of the stories. No, no, I, it, no. you would be surprised. It's, 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 it's not a lot. You know, you again, it's a usually uh, on a bad night, somebody could lose, you know, a few grand. It's not a big, it's not a crazy game. Have you ever had to stop somebody and be like, hey, hey well, we've had we enough. We've had to stop, I mean, look at this personality. We've had to stop him. We've had to hold him back in case <laughs> he gets crazy. <laughs> I was in a game once where we realized that the person had a a real problem and Land out. confronted him. Gonna chase. And he said, "Look, if I don't lose it to you, I'm some lose of those it. losses I'm back." And pump it oh my up goodness, that is quite the justification. Two here in the small. <laughs> Will real make life the call. Yeah. You guys are all like, "All yeah. right, shuffle Will up a deal." as well from the big blind. You don't have to worry about me, but Maria's in the hand, so I just wanted to warn you about that. I check. I check. Queen, Jack, Trey, two Let's clubs. Check Checks all the way through to the turn. Okay, Nine I bet 40. Of hearts. Joe up and okay, down bets 40. 40. Maria's got middle two I'll pair. She'll call. Time. Land out can now. The one other time me and Maria played on hand. TV together, it was deemed unsuitable for air. <laughs> and, Story uh, checks out. Uh, part of it was Maria decided that uh, I bet 50. Maria was like, oh, were you playing a hand this way? And then I told her, Joe and she makes went, straight. <laughs> at my strategy. She literally Funny. felt so bad about my poker rationale that she awed me. Woohoo! Nice. I'm kind of, I like showing every time. Does anyone want to see? Yeah, go you, can see yeah, you can see one. You can see one. Uh, you see that you one, I'll see this one. You in your hand for sure, and I picked, I'm glad I picked. Maria does fold. Oh, the other one was a 10, too. How, how, often do you play, how often do you play cards? Pretty dang often. Yeah, uh, not every day. Um, but I probably play like a major tournament once every like two to three weeks. And so. So you're traveling all the time? Travel a lot. I probably play like 60 to 70 tournaments a year. And what's your preferred? Is there, do you have a preferred you know, game? Game? Tournament? I mean, I think my best game is No Limit Hold'em. Uh, Great. That's but, this game. <laughs> the one we're playing right now, but tournament format, so you guys have a chance in cash game, don't worry. Um, <laughs> but like, uh, I love Omaha Eight or Better. I love mixed games, actually. I, those are super fun. So I'd rather play those. Maria likes poker so much, she enjoys playing jacks. Sean, we got to go to break pretty soon, but I wanted to know, I'm so sorry, uh, how many Avatar movies are there going to be? Because there are a lot of them 35. listed on we, your we, IMDb we are, page. We are making four sequels to Avatar. So five total. Five five totals. And uh, we had to get the naming closure correct when we were developing the script. Yeah. People were saying Avatar 1 and thinking of it as the sequel, the first sequel. But no, first sequel is Avatar 2. So we, we had to get that down and we got the... I'm already confused. Uh, <laughs> we, have, we have a fabulous cast. It's like the second battle of Bull Run. Exactly. So you wouldn't call the first one the first battle of Bull uh, Joe. The battle Bull. I, knew, I learned that from an episode of like call here. Round, by the way. Go on. Maria. No, we're very, very lucky. We have uh, Jack our cast returning, uh, Sam, Zoe, Sigourney, Stephen Lang, uh, Kate Winslet is joining the cast, uh, Una Chaplin, and uh, King Jack Thulis, and, and a group Both of really Maria great young actors, which is something the first movie didn't have. We have a hit bunch a pair. of young teenage kids who are in the movie, and it's going to be exciting. That, that uh... That is exciting. Uh, this hand's getting kind of exciting right now, but we're gonna probably have to put it on pause, oh, no. which I'm so sorry about. We're at least gonna wait till the turn. And you automatically get to be the producer for all of the sequels? In life, nothing is automatic. Okay. You know? 
One day at a time. I'm, ho I'm hoping the, I'm the yeah. pusher tomorrow. If uh, <laughs> if Jim sees him on this, well, I don't know. Action exactly. checks you to He's the working. river. I'm sure he too. Maria makes this. trips. Yeah, sports on the regular. Huge sports fan. One twenty. All right, Maria is gonna bet, and we are gonna pause things right there. It is time for another break, but before we go there, I'd like to invite you to come here to meet me this Saturday, April 7th at the Gardens Casino for a charity fundraiser benefiting Autism Speech Speaks. That's a good place to screw something up, I think. There's a red carpet arrival at 5 p.m., then live music, cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, and a silent auction at 6. Cards are in the air. Come hang with me, Tiffany Michelle, celebrities and poker pros, as we enjoy an evening of poker and drinks, all while raising money for Autism Speaks. Good we'll be nice. right back. Well said. Poker Night Live is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Welcome back, my babies. This is Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game, and we are here at the Gardens Casino in Los Angeles. We've just ordered some drinks. I'm pretty excited about that. Just to name check everyone again, we've got Grant Hesloff, John Landau, Maria Ho, John Moonvis, and Joseph Kahn. Welcome new dealer to the table, dealer Caitlin. Go ahead, let's see what's gonna happen here. Oi, that's my bad. We've got a bet of 120 here for Maria on the river. Wait, you changed dealers in the middle of a hand? We did, who knows what else happened. I fold. And we're gonna get a, fold. a wise fold there. John, big one. pop for Maria. No. Can we see one? Sure. You There's no hands pick. that didn't no, get there. You pick. You pick. I picked the one closest to me. Okay, so that uh, that that one. Yep. Yeah. And turn it over. Yep. Well, if it that. matches the other one, you win. <laughs> <laughs> so it at least matches. I've uh, I've waited five segments to gush over uh, Grant Hesloff here. Now you said your first experience with Grant was on True Lies. Mine. Also, not on it, but watching it. Um, as a kid, loved that movie. I wasn't allowed to see R-rated movies, and so I read the novelization of True Lies first. Was True Lies R? True Lies is one yes. of those movies that should never have been rated R. We, we should have done whatever we could have to, to not make it R-rated, because there's nothing really in it that is offensive. It had to do with the cursing. The lap dance uh, scene, too, no, I'm sure. But no, but no, that would have qualified. It was the cursing and a gun to the head. Really? That, that really triggered. Yeah, but they were all bad. Under the gun. Heads, yeah. Yeah. Heads, heads lap, under the gun yeah, here at 7.5. Such a good into movie. Into the muck. It was a fun, fun movie to make. Yeah. And uh, so I knew that your Joe, name was Fast again. Faisal because of, because uh, I read the novelization. But I don't uh, think it's actually in the movie. It's, Who knows, though? Uh, I haven't seen it, it for a while. It's in the movie. It's hard to, it's, it's like very least, it's Standard hard to pick up on. It's 15 here. Why so aggressive? I know, right? Just, uh, well, I'm all... I don't know remember. 7 5 will call. Film, there's a, a big scene towards the end where I take this... So, uh, heads up to the flop, 35 in the middle. ...and I sneak up and... It's the climax, the, the and twist. And I shoot all these guys. And there's I, top set I for Joe and middle pair for Moonbez. Guys who take care of the guns. <clears throat> practice for Joe months. Joe running hot. Knowing that the scene was going to come and up. And playing well, get too. The day, and it's a huge set. I mean, it's, it's massive, and it's all glass. And we're just, to, and I'm so nervous because I, ha I have to do, I have to get the thing out, do it, shoot all these guys. We're doing one take. And Jim goes, um, don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. <laughs> oh, man. Like, he goes, this is a t it's a two day reset. It's hundreds of thousands of dollars. Sound like Jim? Sounds like Jim. But, you, you, but and, the pro that he was. And we did it. 50 and, even. And, it and, and I nailed it, thank God, because. Awesome. Wait, okay. Now I remember you. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's a great um, ending to that movie. It was, uh, yeah. So at what, what point do you get to start calling him Jim? The right. day you meet him. Yeah, right away. Really, that's really cool. cool. Jim, Jim, it's, it's funny. Jim, Jim is Jim, and, and everybody who meets him goes, oh, James, yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah. Right. Like, no, no, top. Jim. Yeah. There induces a uh, raise to 50. Uh, it was on um, that. I think. T2 3D thing. Right. Might just be catching yeah, up with so those I numbers right here. That, watched him. And then I remember like everybody went to lunch and he was on set still paint, painting, like on the set. Turn bed is 75 for Moon Best Joe. Obviously calls with a set of tens. Norman, right? Exactly. But, you know, Moon that Bez was a very has easy, to was bet to win, has no game. chance of it. Joe will snap this off and win another huge. Were so oh, big. Going for some value here with a raise. Move them 
at a certain speed that the stuntmen had to run at half speed, because that's how slow the cameras move. And then when we started talking about you know, doing other movies in the early 2000s, and we developed the whole 3D camera system, the goal was to get it to be lightweight Smaller. enough so that Jim could hand hold and operate it. At real, and, and the, everybody can at real six seat. to yeah. one on a call. Avatar, Jim is operated most Joe of the hand Stapleton shots. Ever could add normal min raising this river a, 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 a uh, without the top of his range. Two, uh, the two cameras? Yeah, we're not going to be doing the You're Avatar. Not do it like a uh, post like everybody else does it? No, you know what? That, you know, if you have months and months to do conversion of films, we did that on Titanic, and I think we did a great job, but we took almost a year to convert it. We're doing another movie now that Robert Rodriguez is directing for us called Alita Battle Angel. Robert worked in 3D actually before we did a feature in 3D. He's amazing. But he did it with our camera system when, when he did Spy Kids 3D. So with Alita, once again, he's, we shot it in native 3D. It's based on a script that uh, uh, Jim wrote. Moonbez does play a lot of poker. Japanese and I think he's novel. trying to think of what combinations Joe could ever comes out in bluff in really tiny with. And the answer is really the story, none. As we have a show down here. Think I'm ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Good ending to, to your story. <laughs> to John's story, not a great ending. Well, John, I think we needed another commercial break there. <laughs> John's going into his pocket. <laughs> John's, well, where's my red wine? Yeah, let's get those drinks over here so we don't lose anybody from this table. You know, the great thing about, just to finish on Jim Cameron, the great thing about Jim is that he's an equal opportunity. Like, he, he, he'll, be, he'll be hard because he's such a perfectionist. He'll be hard on anybody. And including Arnold, even on the first day that we were shooting, he, he, was, giving him a, he was giving him a hard time. You know, it was, he doesn't. But the one thing I'll say is that while Jim might be hard on people, he doesn't expect anything more of them than he expects of, of himself. Yeah, well, he's, yeah. You know, like you were saying, you know, he's there fixing something up. He, he is, he is a non-stop, you know, worker, thinker, all of those Shooter. Things. You know, he can shoot yeah. the camera. Can I do a public out. service announcement? Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Bad beats. Don't play a hand like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> what, what exactly did you do there? What, what was happening? Um, I put you on a draw that didn't hit. That's and what I did with Graham when I called it 200. <laughs> I had a pretty, <laughs> I hit. pretty weak hand. Yeah, I didn't that'd be think great. we were going to play so a much. strong hand that way. So, and I was terribly wrong. Thank you. I am not getting invited to any of these home games. It's guaranteed. Not now. Nope. Not now at all. So wait. Uh, yeah. I'll invite you. Uh, yeah, Thank you, you very much. That, yeah, both. I'm, I can't run this good there. You win one, you lose one. Works out well. <clears throat> if only the size didn't matter. Um, so how do you go from character actor to I started, screenwriter? I started. Uh, Thanks. I started yeah. writing, and then I, st I started working with um, with Steven Soderbergh and, and George Clooney on some uh, in their company. And then George and I wrote Good Night and Good Luck. And then yeah, the big blind, small blind, small blind. You're the blind, blind is really blind. all it is. Um, yeah, just sort. I just from writing really. Um, and so, and what, desperation. What? Okay, so it was just like, hey, the acting is not. No, it really wasn't actually. Even more acting was. It, it, I just, I always wanted to do. I always wanted to do that, and I. Maria wrote, getting frisky uh, here with four uh, no, deuce suited. I love it. So we'll make it twenty from there. the hijack. I, just, I got the bug. It's a completely different experience to be on the other side of the camera. And so, motivation's never been a problem for you. Motivation? Like, yeah, because when you're making like a decent living, being in like a couple movies a year, it must be hard to be motivated when you aren't starving. Yeah, it, it, you know, that was the, probably the hardest thing. You know, I had kids and all that stuff, but it, you know, it's, I, I just, I it was like making an investment in myself, I guess, and, and it paid off. That is an investment. Much like the hand with John. <laughs> So it looks like we've got a continuation bet yeah, yeah, and a Dan fold from, from the ace really, of five you know, moon vest. Thing in all businesses, no matter what you do, um, you know, is how do you balance the family life yeah. and, and, and work? Or how do you know when's the right time too, right? Because it's expensive and... For you right now is the right time. Right? Yeah. Tom may Find have been the thing in there. It's not going to get any better than this, is what you're saying. You're really good at This is the peak of my career. Catch up. You know, with a film, you can be called on location for eight, nine, Comes with the territory of televised live poker. To, wow. to Italy. Well, I'm glad we got you. I wait, wait, to Italy. Is this one of these Lake Cuomo no, no, mess no. around for no, six no, no, month no. deals? This is, a, this is, a, this is a, a real legitimate thing. 
But my guess is your weekends may be spent in some of these. My uh, weekends are going to be spent working, unfortunately. Gotta, What's, can you tell uh, us about the film? We're, we're, doing, we're actually doing a six-hour version of uh, the book Catch-22. Oh, my goodness. I just heard about this. That's super exciting. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's going to be I fun. was going to call him. I want to hear more about that after, uh, after this I next commercial we got coming up. Can't do it, Joseph. Johnny? So King Nine and Two you Deuces. Still act grant, or is that just? Um, I wasn't invited in for while. this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, if somebody calls me Cheers. up and says Cheers. something like that, something that's fun. Cheers. It's a three bet. Life is acting. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that's right. We're all acting all the time. With the pair of deuces, does get through. Try to squeeze in uh, part of this hand before we have to go again. Nope, not at all. It's actually time for us to take a quick break. Isn't that right, Tiffany? That's right, Joe, and I'm gonna take this chance to go ahead and raid your dressing room for some of that Kimosabi mezcal. Oh wait, you don't have a dressing room. Gonna have to see if my girl Maria Ho will hook me up. Poker Night Live is brought to you by Kimosabi mezcal and Sit and Go 2.0. We'll be right back. Poker Night Live is brought to you by Sit and Go 2.0. Go to sitandgo20.net to claim your free Sit and Go 2.0 strategy ebook. I really enjoy playing against, you know, celebrities or just in the home games that I play in because it's much more casual. People are having fun, people are gambling more, um, but they're really tough to read actually. Second to women, like that group of people, like celebrities are pretty much the toughest to figure out, so I'm gonna have my work cut out. Welcome back to Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game, where I've waited until segment six to ask Grant Hesloff about George Clooney. You brought it up in the last segment. Please tell me something. Um, how did you guys become friends? How did you become writing partners? I think uh, uh, people are interested. Uh, we met in acting class when I was, uh, I was 19 and he was 21. So this is like facts of life? This is way before that. <laughs> way before that. And you guys met in acting class and eventually became roommates? We, uh, yeah, there was a time when, uh, there were times when I didn't have a place and I would crash at his or vice versa, you know? That's just, I'm like, my he, mouth he is have, open. I don't really have a, have a witty he retort didn't have a for car. this. He had a bike. He rode his bike to auditions. And now he doesn't have a car. He has a jet pack and a spaceship and four Lear jets. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Po Let's play some poker, guys. On you. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't realize. I didn't know we were. What, back Chloe, playing. what should I do in this situation? Oh, yeah. What should he do, I Maria? I would raise, like, I would, I would raise without even looking. Okay. Did you look, though? Did you see you look? I mean,. Of course I'm not sure looked. because I'm a little, never a folding tricky, four so, three suited. Uh, you could have looked, but this is so like my hand is so bad. I just I believe that you didn't look, and which means I should like just re-raise and see what happens. But I, I'm gonna fold. I'd probably call blind. <laughs> I'm sure he would. I believe he looked. Really? I do believe. I think he looked. Did you see him? Look, what do you think or? I had? Oh wow. I mean, some people are good at cold reading, but that's that would be ridiculous. <laughs> that would be... So, I had five deuce off suits. So. John, I don't know if you remember. She was just about to say that. The night uh, Phil Helmuth came and played in our oh. little home game. Yeah. Phil sat down at the table. Told everyone how great he was. And then he played the first two hands and won both without ever looking at his cards. <laughs> But I will say he did not leave a winner that night. He did so. not leave a winner. No. <laughs> See, that's where really. I'll add to that. He was playing at another game with mutual friend of ours, Chris Williams. His love from and a high jack with queen jack. We'll make it 15. Bill put his son, who was young and at that time. And calls behind, face nine. In for a couple of hands. Maria, eight two and, suited, will make the call. Um, and king nine from Mbez in the big getting Our five to one with King lost nine. all their money, but Chris Four ways. felt it. To the flop. Phil's like 10 year old kid. <laughs> <laughs> it was full house over full house, I think, or quads over full house, it was crazy. Please tell me that Phil's like one of those Four, little league guys. Six, five, he has got two, no, that's John. rather one gut shot. John said he got to start playing poker because he had to take his daughter There are two ways to make it straight. Synchronized swim. swimming. Class, Your daughter uh, was team. a sync synchronized swimmer? The L.A. team. And then and eventually she was up to 11 lessons a week, so John... Landau steps, 30 here. 
actually has the best of it. So there was a story I wanted to ask you about that I was supposed to pre-ask you, but since we didn't get a chance to talk before the show. I was late. I was stuck on the 405 All I'm going to say is suitcases full of $20 bills. I don't know anything about that. He doesn't know anything about it. Okay. Well, there you go. $20 bills? I don't think they were $20 bills. I don't know. No I don't know nothing about no suitcases. <laughs> what can you tell us about whatever story you think I'm talking about? It was told on television, I've been told, by a guy named Randy something or other. I know no Randys. He doesn't know any Randys. <laughs> okay, guys. I know, I know somebody who is a little Randy, but I, I don't know any. Sorry, Joe. Most I don't of remember. Table. Two kings now for Heslop. Well, I tried. <laughs> Just a call. Landau, he's not again. Not he's going to okay. bump this right. up. Who else? Uh, Pollock denied me on a story, too, last week. He was like, no way, nope. No matter how you team me up, I'm not doing it. But that's different. He got joy out of it. Yes, he was. I didn't make Joe with two sevens. Joe's already hit two sets today. I'm going to go with a question for John. Actually going to hit right a Right in the middle of the hand, days. when you're dominating me, you have position. You're going to interrupt me with a question. Like, Go ahead. Well, hold oh, on a second. A limp re -race. That's what Heslov was waiting oh, for. That's my signature move. Now it's like just it. super Punish obvious, question, though. But you get someone like John who's a little down. It's so a lot much. of money in the middle. <laughs> I'm not down. He almost okay. can't help himself. What are we starting? 105 is the three bad. He's going to give everyone at home a chance to make fun of me and call me a nit and call me cheap. I don't have an Academy Award or a Grammy or billable hours or an amazing race finish. So I fold. Joe, you're cheap and nitty, nice and you have grand. no accolades. Show us what we show us what we folded to. Can, can we see one? Yeah. Both. Jesse is pretty much expected. At least. Whoa! I'm so good at poker. I'm the I'm one of the best poker players who ever lived. I hate. I don't like that hand. I lose that hand always. So I just like to get my money. You would just rather win right there. Yeah. I always an ace always comes, and then I yeah. I'm in, and then I stick with it, and then I always lose a lot of money. So. With the way that I am running tonight, it was probably better to get me to fold. What do you mean the way you're running? I'm running great, is what I'm saying. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, I was, saying, probably, I was probably going to run you down. No, oh. I'm not one of those people that wins and then complains about it. Please. <laughs> I know, we know some of those worst. guys. That guy is the worst. Don't fold your hand. Will any of you guys take the bait on um, which big time actor tanks incessantly in your home game and wastes a lot of time? We've got we've got one minute. If anybody There's no wants, real big. I'm gonna tank on that and think about it. <laughs> yeah, right. You guys Jack can all take a Joe. second to think about it. Joe's up over. I've heard he, he has the propensity tonight. to so be come there on down for to the you. gardens because drinks on Joe right Grace? after this. I don't know what he's talking about. I do. Huh? Give me a, give me a hint. Oops, I, um, let's Mark see. What's Joe. another hint? He's a he plays a, a very a, a paleontologist on a very famous sitcom that's no longer on the air. Joe has made it 20. Hey, guys. I don't even know what a paleontologist is, although Some I have played one before. Joseph <laughs> you played a paleontologist, yeah. obviously. I played, I played a, a, vul so a vulcanologist. And a I'm going to try. I played all kinds of doctors. I'm going to try to get this name out of uh, Grant and John. Uh, but first, uh, uh, Tiffany, do you by chance know what's going on here at the Gardens Casino later this week? Well, yes, Joe, I surely do. Coming up this week, I host our brand new live stream show, Gardens Poker Night. You can catch it every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday nights at 5 p.m. Pacific. Head to GardensPokerNight.com for more information, including our celebrity lineups, and watch at twitch.tv slash PokerNightTV. We'll be right back. How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. Welcome back to Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game where it's entertainment moguls night. Here's your host, Joe Stapleton. He does, he's not quiet. Thank you, Tiffany Michelle. <coughs> and don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you, commentator Jesse. Shut up, Jesse. I'm trying to talk to famous people. I bet he just keeps talking. Uh, but instead, he's talking to us. Oh, that's very <laughs> kind of you guys. I, no, he has to be nice to me because I'm his uh, ride home later. We are closing in on the home stretch. Uh, we are mid-hand here. Ten high flop. I believe action's on Joseph. And I want to do a quick little chip count. It oh, it's, I'm in the hand. Wow, it's you. me. Hold on. Oh, that is. I've forgotten, but I really like my hand pre-flop. I checked. 
Uh, I want to know how many chips everybody <laughs> has. And, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's more. Is it more or less than uh, Joseph's last YouTube partner check? Do you get any of that uh, streaming money? No, it's just one and done for you? What is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess those cards. Please guess them. Go ahead, I'll tell them, do you want, I'll turn Pocket them over. Pocket deuces. Pocket deuces, you're super close. Wow. Unbelievable. You are close. good, John. <laughs> One of the cards was one card away from a deuce. We got, we got to good. see the cards. That's true. You just get just ask. It's fine. I was kidding. Um, so most people I know who are in the music business complain about it now and say it's not what it used to be. Is the music video business, it, it seems like it's still doing pretty well with... Yeah, I mean, people uh, don't... It's, they think because there's no MTV, per se, that there's no music videos. But if you look at YouTube, the top 10 things that are streamed are music videos. It's all anybody watches, actually. I mean, I personally have like over 10 billion views on my work, so. Yeah, that's great. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And how long is shoot? Do music videos, how many days do you shoot on those? Depends on the music video. Like, usually anywhere from one to five days. I mean, five is like on the extreme end of it. Right. I wonder how they long get trapped in the closet they took. Do. Yeah. Like, uh, my friend of mine is actually on the rail, was in the new Taylor Swift video that uh, Ang Lee directed in the last few weeks and it came out. <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? Was that supposed to be yours? Moonves, <laughs> Queens. Did I get that wrong? 20. She told me it was Ang Lee. Heslov. Okay, he's not saying anything. Calls Let's move on to something else. Do you still do your $75 dating service uh, on music video sets? <laughs> okay, so back in the day, I met Joseph, and I was recently single, and as Heslov. I always am, um, really desperate and lonely. And I was like, hey, man, do you think you could invite me to, on the set of one of these music videos so I could meet some of the girls that are around, he goes, oh yeah, no problem, dude, I have something set up for check, this. Check. 75 bucks and you Ace can come on clubs. set and you can meet whoever you want. It's the nuts you do that? for no, it's, it's not quite like that. Like if I make a personal introduction, give me 75 bucks. There it is. And then if anything <laughs> happens, you give me 150 extra. That's, I'm totally down for that. I'm in fact working toward that fund now. So that, is that still in service? Uh, I'll still do that, yeah. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Oh, what's, your, what's your next one? <laughs> Can't say. <laughs> All right. I love the secrecy. Someday I'll work on something secret. I don't think so. Are they, well, no, this show is a complete secret. No one knows about it. I can only hope. So it looks Someone like Joe and our, Maria are uh, still our relatively big winners set. thus far through the evening. I don't know even that would get you on set. <laughs> right, sorry. If I were a person <laughs> that was allowed on set, I would also then have to sign a waiver. No, you know, we, we, I don't know if you've read books like uh, you know, George Orwell's 1984, which always <laughs> told us to warn about Big Brother was going to be you know, watching us. But it's really Little Brother. It's, when you're making a creative project that, that we all do, then unless you can protect your IP, your intellectual property, until it's ready to come out, you have people talking about it on the internet. So we just gotta be very careful because it's gonna take us so long to get these movies into the theaters yeah. that uh, you know we have to be careful. Yeah, the internet's an amazing thing, but it's also can just blow. Up. Yeah, no, I understand. Um, Meanwhile, flat and I, I can't uh, compare it to what you guys do, um, but options I do checked from the blinds. The and as stand -up comedians, we don't want draws people are both recording our and sets and posting them online. That's a little pair there for stakes. Particularly for famous guys, right? Right. It's even worse for those guys. And you know, but if, at least if you're a famous guy, like you have Hot a career bet. that you Vez. can protect. Be, right. That people know about you. If it was anybody but you, John? Landau calls Joe will <laughs> probably. Fold. Someone like me, if something got taken out of context and then sent over the internet, that might be it for me forever. I don't get right. to talk my way out of it. No one's going to read my apology. Joe makes the call. Bottom pair. All right. Three players to the turn. Wow. Check, check, check. All right. Free card. Through. Joe's still ahead. Who checked their nine? Look at that board. Now the nut straight for Moonvez. Of course, the board is paired. Don't think he's going to get much play here. Now what I can do here is I can tank for 30 seconds because I know we're about 45 seconds away from a break and then it won't be awkward when I have to cut off anyone's story. And I can just <laughs> vamp about this for another 10 seconds. Yeah, but we want to see, we want to see what you're going to do. At this point, it's five seconds. No, I'm saying I'm going to just go ahead and fold this hand. This pot's going to go to John Moon Invest. Did I say we had to take a break, by the way? Did I, did I, didn't I mention that. that? No, I didn't hear that. That's not what, totally obvious. I'm glad no one leaked that on the internet. Yeah. It is time to take a break, but mostly because I want to pitch John Landau on a Titanic sequel. I can't wait. It's not what you think. Yeah. Underwater zombies. 
There you go. Back after this. That's right. Welcome back to the Gardens Casino and Poker Night Live Hollywood home game where I'm playing poker with a whole bunch of Hollywood heavyweights, one of whom who got sued for making a Power Rangers fan film. Joseph, uh, whatever happened with that, can you talk about it and have you met John Moonves? In case you need some legal. John Moonves actually sued me. <laughs> nope, nope, not. No, I just wanted to make a, a... I just wanted to troll Hollywood for a second. That's all I would... So I, I wanted to make like a... A property I thought they were about to make and make the uh, most serious, bloody, um, sex filled drug version of it just as a lark. And, and you thought you'd pick Power Rangers? Yeah. I'm in. I understand that. <laughs> we, we had someone on our set the other day who was trying to tell people that Schindler's List was a family movie that he could take his three year old to. Well, meanwhile, Khan yes. has Ace Queen and Will I don't want to mention it. somebody I know. <laughs> no. I mean, that. That thing did really well in the first couple days. Like, it was viral. Yeah, and the funny thing is I knew we were gonna get sued, so I released it on midnight when I knew all the John Moonves were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't until like eight in the morning that everyone figured it out and then shut us down for a little it's bit. It's really Maria cool. Call. So when you say shut it down, what did you end up doing? Is it still phone. out there or is it gone? Oh, it's out there. Jack, queen, seven, and two what clubs, come up in top, top for face. con, middle pair, 40. four. Uh, right. Well, there's a lot of things I actually can't talk about. Okay. Wow. Con sizes up a two-thirds continuation bet. Three years ago. Just called by Maria, who's got backdoor straight and flush draws with middle pair. Is uh, Saban, do they still own the Power Rangers? We can't talk about you it. You can't say. 80. Yes, they do. They do. That I know. Whoa, okay, that's before it was even out there. Call. I think Maria really may take an opportunity to turn this into a bluff, movie. depending and, uh, on the meeting with Heim Saban at, at river that house. peels off here. In the middle of the meeting, he starts talking Hebrew. That's not going to be it. Levy. And then he talks back to me. And we'd have a conversation, and then he'd talk in Hebrew again, and on and on. On the way out of this, this meeting, I lean over to him and say, by the way, I, I do like the sizing here. Every <laughs> I didn't. He never spoke Hebrew in front of me again, though. Right. Good fold, though. No, he was, uh, I think, uh, I, I can't say that uh, they were all telling him, I think Lionsgate was telling him this is a great thing. It went viral. Everyone's talking about Power Rangers. And, uh, and uh, they were trying to convince him to let us keep it. And I think, you know, eventually it happened. But, yeah, OK. Because uh, I did not see the the real Power Rangers movie that came out a couple years ago, but your version was awesome. I was hoping that they would, I mean, they would, it's, they would lean into it and just no, have no, you no, do no. it. I did it as a joke. It's a satire. It's not. I, I would never make an R-rated Power Rangers movie in Hollywood. <laughs> like it's only 14 minutes long, so it, it's a joke. It's like uh, it's like you watch it and you see these Power Rangers do all these naughty things, and then you like it. And you, the satire is that, oh, I just like like an R-rated NC-17 Power Rangers movie. But I would, I mean, you'd be insane to make that. It wouldn't work as a whole. No, 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 no. Just want to remind everyone, you can tip the dealer, Caitlin here. We'll take care of uh, Caitlin when we win some pots. That's right, give Caitlin money. And uh, I'm going to do another one of these really annoying things again, guys. I'm going to look at my cards. And then uh, we're almost at the end of the show, guys, and I can't believe it that no one has stormed off yet. And I was going to do a cliffhanger about whether everyone stormed off, but. You can clearly see they haven't, so we are going to take that break back after this. And no one's gone all in here. I, I, I talk, I Welcome talk back to you. Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game. And during the commercial break, John Landau produced eight more avatars, and Jesse Abramowitz is still up in the booth. Say hi, Jesse. You know, we still can't hear him, but uh, I'm pretty sure that it's all been absolute gold. Oh, we're in the middle of a hand. Okay, great. Here we go. It's actually Back to the poker. Wits, but thank you, Joseph. I'm going to play. I'm in. Moonves is hating this. <laughs> Don't say that. He seems like such a nice man. He's not. He's not a nice man. Can we let Joseph take his 
cards back so this could be a family pot. I'm all for it. I'm okay with it. Yeah. You, do you want do your, you your cards back? back? 15? I, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> give him, can you give that? Yeah. She wants my money. <laughs> I just think it'd be fun to play a family pot. There we this go. is when the, like when the wheels like come it. off. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> How do I get 15 more dollars in this pot? I know. Now I'd actually feel so, bad if like it got to heads up either. between me and Joseph on the Five or six handed. Television. Not sure if this card's great. got that back. That would be like great television. Did. Three hearts. I'll start off with an six aggressive check juice. then. You could actually get me in trouble with this hand. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Didn't see that coming. No one expects that. Landau does have a straight flush draw, technically. Bold. Action over on John Moves. Esquire, is that right? It's hard to call here if you're Moonvez. You don't really know if you're drawing to a dead flush draw. How yeah. serious lawyers can get. Fifteen dollars is like commits uh, forty-five. Uh, Oyo loco, I just wasted, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. At this point, it is. So a really good, a really good meal. At a yeah, loco, like though. a family meal type Inclu deal. I fostered oh. everything. Now only the four of hearts can save Landau, unless he wants to just continue telling the story that he may have the ace of hearts. Check, check. Deuce on the river. So the board does pair. 50 is the bet. I do not he -haw. like. King of hearts. You know what? I'm just not going to say not. 10. Because that We're got called. King high flush. And that is going to be good. I think your two pair was good. Was two pair good? What were the two pair? King sends. Tens, Tens and twos. twos. Oh, uh, ten and twos. Was his 10 good, really, is the question. Could you beat a 10? Yes, I could beat a 10. Okay, his two pair were no good. Are you telling the truth? I had a lower flush. You had a lower flush. Did you have it on the flop? Can't tell if we're flop. being trolled or not. But I had a straight flush draw on the flop. Did you have it on the flop? No. I didn't see his card, his second card. King 10 What did you have that you could get in trouble with? With the king heart. Top pair. Oh, yeah. We kick her. When the deuce hit the river, I was wondering if you had folded a deuce and you were not too happy. See how she got you to put he money in the did not pot? drop a deuce John. and well, happy to really have folded. I really got it for John, though. I just yes. juiced up that pot for John, so, so you're welcome. <laughs> As love. Very much appreciated. FTA, first to act, folds jack seven. Landau suited jack eight. All right, 15 is the raise. Okay. Joe is jack you see nine. my cards when I do that, by the way? No. Playable. Okay. We'll call. I'll try. I'll make it more of an effort to show you. <laughs> Moonvez. Suited queen five. I'll buy the there. cards back for 15? Ah! So three ways. I would, to the but I don't think they're retrievable uh, now. I would. Up, I yeah. would. I absolutely would. Dropping big words like retrievable on us. Come on. How many hearts you got? 35. So expensive. Ugh. 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 So the bet for Moonvez. So do you like make mostly money off of poker? Land out rather. No, no, I will off of 35. Gets poker, called. Yes. I'm a commentator. Okay. Those who can't do clubs teach. on the turn. Those who can't teach teach Changes gym. nothing Those about the texture here. Commentate. So you're up like a. Uh, There's trip baits for Landau. Like salary, right? You can now bomb this, and it what might look very that? bluffy because many draws like, did miss. I knew you had an eight. Three eights. But he just goes for small value. Got to make this last called. 13 weeks. Yeah, this show. is. <laughs> uh, so, what was your initial stake? Uh, 500. 500. Yeah, in, in that's your own money. I wanted you. That's to... right. It is. It is absolutely is my own money. Yeah, that, there's the one card I didn't want to see. Yeah. All right, sure. Why not? We don't have much poker left. We're gonna do a I'll, I'll, straddle. I'll do a. I'll do a round of regular straddles. Mm -hmm. We don't get around. I I object. We'll put that in uh, terms you can understand. Sustained. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking before we get out of here, we got, we got a few minutes left still. I wanted to play one more game with you guys. I am a big time movie crier. I cry at movies pretty regularly, especially because I watch them on planes quite a bit. You guys know. It's a great way to watch them, by the way. Yeah. Well, 
That's why we make them. None of these, by the way, <laughs> I, were watched on a plane. But I'm saying the dumber movies I cry at are movies that I watched on a plane and I probably shouldn't have ever watched in the first place. So, of the movies that you guys raise to 30, uh, have made at the table, I'm gonna list off a bunch of them. And I want- So Straddle play is game. on. Let's play this game with John. Joe makes it 30. Rubez. John, which of these movies did I not cry at when I saw it in the theater? I saw all these movies in the theater. Well, except for the one I'm naming of Joseph's. Because I figured the tension would be an easy one. Probably to tall, I So I picked one of Joseph's music videos. Here we go. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Argo. Good Night and Good Luck. Titanic. And I Love the Way You Lie music video. It was Eminem and Rihanna, right? And Which one of those did I not cry in? That's the nuts. Actually, Joe rant. trying to running nine jack of diamonds. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Oh, I bet he cried at that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I bet he didn't cry at good night and good luck. I absolutely cried during Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. How much is that, 40? 30. Just playing along. If I, I was like 10 right. years old and that aunt dying. Um, how dare you? Why? My parents were genuinely angry with you for making all the kids cry who went to, who went to the theater Sorry to see about that. that. Turn into um, five of hearts. I cried during Good Night and Good Luck so many times because I found it to be like so inspiring and so heroic that I like got chills and cried. He's not even paying attention. I am. You got cries. And this is all true. I lived with Joe and he went through a lot of and tissues. I'm also going to bet 60 and it's on you now, Joe. I had seen. Are you going to cry about I this? saw Love the Way You Lie when I was in the middle of a breakup bawling. Unfortunately, it was Titanic when I was a mean teenager with no sense of empathy or anything uh. whatsoever. I sat in Titanic and I was like, didn't, couldn't get a tear out of me because I was a gigantic loser. I, 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 fold. I can't believe you were ever mean though. Well, you know, all teenagers are mean. You must have done mean stuff as a teenager. Only to my siblings. That was good enough. It's loud. Oh, that was, was really it. good enough. The nuts. I like the flop. I, I enjoyed it. Good flop. What did I give you? What did I gift you? You know what there? that was? That was a Titanic flop. <laughs> <laughs> no holes in that flop. So you cried during my video? I did, oh. yes. Well, it wasn't just the one viewing. It was one of those that I watched oh. like sadomasochistically like over and over and over again. Straddling? Crying. Yeah, I'm straddling. Of course I'm straddling. That's good to hear. Button move? Yes. I was just you know, the oh, yeah, song really probably had something to do with it, but uh, you know, the video, it helped. Seriously, look up band. any music video from yes. the past 20 to 30 years. He's done everything. Maria makes it 30 with Queen 10. Okay, well, geez. John's looking for some action. And he wants to play poker. Okay, guys, <laughs> because we're close. Landau, King 4 here. suited. Stapes. 30, 5 total? 30. Portray yeah, suited. Okay, there we go. Let's do this for a living, guys. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Three to the flop, 95 in the middle. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And two clubs and a queen top pair Didn't expect for that. Landau. John checks. Rather, Jeff flush draw for Landau, Maria. top pair for Maria. I'm going to bet 55. That's a pro bet. 55 is the C bet. The extra five. That's <laughs> right. That throws them off because they're fully expecting to only call 50 That's right. maximum. Consider me thrown off. All right. 205. That's messed up. They the make pot. play with your own money. <laughs> well, and life's messed up. There's the flush. I have no discernible Maria skills. Maria will talent, probably so. check this back. She's going to be looking to get to showdown, and I'll just stop talking. It was a bet of 100 for Maria? Yep. That's 100. It's just one stack. Now, if you're landing. Or down, one white chip. It's a chip. Extracting value. Oh, I'm going to feel so bad if he does this and loses. And it's just I, I did call. not mean to say talked that. Talked him into it. No, no, he you did. did. You did talk him into it. What if I want you pressure. to talk him out of it? You think we're peers? I think when you just call here, <laughs> sorry. you need <laughs> sorry to check insult almost you. all rivers. <laughs> I think we're sh short. Yeah. There we go. There we go. He's trying to short it to make up for the fact that he had to throw the extra five in there on the flop bet. Oh. The great equalizer. <laughs> now, this is actually an interesting spot. 
large oh pot. Oh you God. have the ace of clubs in your hand, don't you? That's annoying. That is so annoying. So I do not annoying. have the ace of clubs. Really? Ooh. Ooh. Wow, you really want me to call this. I was like 100% gonna fold and now I'm like, 75% gonna call. You didn't do one of those tricky oh, John, things. John, do I lie? No, I know, I, you don't have the Ace of Clubs then. You didn't even do that tricky thing where he where he says like, one of my cards isn't the Ace of Clubs. That's true, so you must have two pair. I'm gonna fold. I... <laughs> wow. Can we see, can we see, can we see? Come on, no! Ugh. Yes, you can. Nice hand, John. Turn into CVS. <laughs> That's right, stuff. oh yeah, I get to see this later <laughs> when I go home and she watch myself friend. and cry. She does this for a living. It's not like a, like schleps like us. Bad, bad river for me. That's, he really? Because you would have got called. He had the flush on the turn. Oh. Am I right? Oh, two clubs, but did not have the ace of clubs. Now I understand if I. Maria, are you going to straddle? Oh, well, you now kidding? I'm stuck. So. <laughs> Very likely. I have a double straddle. I'm not going to tell this guy what to do. This may be the last hand. All right, double straddle is, is on. Almost certain to be the last hand unless everyone folds to you. Still gonna raise. Action will start <laughs> on Joseph Kahn, 20 to play. We're gonna play out this hand during the break even, guys. As love suited Dustre. Give everyone a chance to see their hands. And out. Ain't folding. There's John the is in. Before I make my action. Sorry guys, you're not gonna get to see what happens here. We have to take one last break. When we get back, I'm gonna give everyone at the table my headshot. It's gonna be really awkward. <laughs> Welcome back, my babies. That'll do it for our show, Poker Night Live, Hollywood Home Game, Entertainment Moguls Night. It's been great hanging out with all these people. I have absolutely no business being around who will now all have to deal with the fact that I genuinely think we're friends. We are. Hey, I didn't even have to ask the question. Seriously, guys, thank you uh, so much. I really appreciate it. It's been a huge thrill for me. That is it for us on CBS Sports, but the fun never ends at the Gardens Casino. Come play poker anytime, and this Saturday, April 7th at 5 p.m., join me here for the All In for Autism Speaks charity tournament. For more poker action, check out our new live stream every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Head to GardensPokerNight.com or Twitch.tv slash PokerNightTV. Coming up next Tuesday on CBS Sports, it's Poker Night Live, Hollywood Home Game, Rockers Night where we go down in a hole with Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains, Scott Ian of Anthrax, Shanna Mochler, and the rock star of poker himself, the Gavin Smith. For Tiffany Michelle and everyone at Poker Night Live, other than Jesse Abramowitz, I am Joe Stapleton saying good night and good luck, my babies. Hold on, it's on you.